What's an everyday item that has a hidden feature most people don't know about? If you get an email in Outlook and you don't want to deal with it right then but also don't want to forget it altogether, right-click or select the three dots on the email and select Snooze. Pick when you want the message to reappear, later that day, the next morning, etc., and it will be delivered at the top of your inbox at that time. New Procrastination Ability Unlocked Fair warning, you're eventually going to have 800 snoozed messages, alerts exploding all day. Here's a life hack. Hit the snooze notifications for one hour. Check your laptop's battery life, unplug your laptop, throw it of the tallest available structure. Procrastination ability, master. Smartphones have a small, low-powered speaker that can be held up to your ear so that only you will be able to hear your phone conversation instead of everyone around you having to listen to your speaker phone. Then how will I hear somebody's shitty SoundCloud rap while I'm trying to buy groceries? This tech should be more widely used. Maybe some sort of device that could even transmit the sound from your phone to your ear via a cable or some sort of airwaves. Rubbing alcohol kills bugs within seconds. Pour it into a spray bottle and go on a killing spree in a well-ventilated area. Or if you're especially bored, a poorly ventilated area. My area is ventilated. No need to bring my finances into it, though. Also cures nausea. This one is huge. Stopped a panic attack of mine too. Really gives your brain a quick reset with that strong burning smell. I'm gonna see if it helps short circuit hot flashes. Cancer sucks. Most vegetable peelers have a metal ring on the side. It's to dig out black spots from potatoes. I prefer gouge out the eyes, which is technically accurate. Edit a word. Out damn spot. Lady Macbeth possibly referring to potatoes. Or a point on top for the same thing. Almost every peeler I've ever used has something. On CD players, when you hold rewind, you can go into negative seconds on an applicable track. Some albums used the negative seconds on a CD to put an in-between opening to a song so that when you skip to the song, you also skip the opening. More interesting is an example like Reliant K's Mmm album. If you hold rewind on the very first track long enough and let go, you will hear the album's hidden track, which is also the album's title track, At That. It's mostly an instrumental with humming, but it's good and interesting and, sadly, a great novel way of hiding hidden tracks that quickly is disappearing with the mass move to digital. Edit. Just wanted to thank you all for showing me so many other albums that did this. It's crazy how many of them did, yet I only really knew about a few. Like even knowing about this little secret didn't make it something I regularly checked for, simply because of how obscure and rare I already knew it to be. I was a bigger fan of the hidden tracks being at the end of 15 to 45 minutes of silence. Oh my god, that tool hidden track on Undertow that was after like 15 minutes of crickets. You'd be dozing off or fully immersed in whatever substance. And all of a sudden, it was daylight when you woke up in your ditch. Many libraries in the US have portable Wi-Fi hotspots and laptops that you can check out for a month at a time. I just found out my city library has a recording studio, circuit machines, sewing machines, a soldering setup, and a printing press for like t-shirts, apparel, and whatnot like. Honestly, libraries in general are low-key, literally like too low-key. There are so many amazing resources. I also found out you can rent music and books online essentially, and just so much more stuff, like open classes for things like sewing. They've started renting out local zines, definitely have been spending more time at the library. I did a course to work in a library during COVID, and I would say 80% of the course was actually focused on how libraries are working towards becoming community hubs. While the need for books is still there, the industry has recognized the need to adapt and started to use space for a variety of technologies people may not want to invest in at home and education such community classes. I get so annoyed when people say they are outdated or dying. They will always be needed for record keeping, education classes, and most importantly, freaking giving the poorer class access to resources and opportunities. My local library has a library of things, and I love it. You can check out Wi-Fi hotspots, telescopes, laminators, a home theater projector, an external CD-DVD drive, and lots more. It's really great for when you need something for a project but don't want to invest money in it, because you'll only use it once or twice. I remember being so amused to discover my local library has a range of cake pans you can check out. Come Christmas, though, we were able to have some festive tree-shaped cakes. You can set custom keyboard shortcuts. I use double at to paste my email and double ampersand to paste my address. It's really useful. Edit. For iPhone. Settings. General keyboard text replacement. Where do I go to do this? Oh wait, I mean, can I do this on my phone? If you have an iPhone, you can go to Settings, General, Keyboard, Text Replacement, then tap the plus icon in the upper right corner. Could vary slightly depending on iOS version. Control, Shift, T will open up a tab in your browser that you accidentally closed. 
Also, if you close your browser and don't have Open Last Session turned on, you can Control shift t to open all the tabs again. This has saved me hours of research. This also works if you turn off your PC and reopen. Rubbing alcohol can clean the inside of your car's windshield. Ever notice how the inside is kind of smeary? It's from off gases from the plastic from the dashboard. Just put some alcohol on a paper towel, wipe the glass well, and then get a clean paper towel or microfiber, spray glass cleaner, dry all, and you will have the shiniest window. What a fuck? So far in these comments, I learned rubbing alcohol can kill insects, calm nausea, sniff it, do not drink, calm panic attacks, sniff it, do not drink, clean interior car glass of smudges, remove smudges from stainless steel. If your windshield wipers are just streaking your windshield, you can also use alcohol on a paper towel to clean your wiper blades. They'll wipe like new again. On a smartphone, if you are typing and hold down the spacebar button, you can then scroll left and right to move the cursor on the text. I learned that on a Reddit thread about old people and technology. Some guy was making fun of his dad for not knowing it. Everybody in the thread was like, wait, what? Edit to add the original thread. I forgot it was a video. Most people hold walking sticks wrong and get like 5% of the support you could get. The handle is supposed to face forward, like with crutches. It keeps the weight distribution correct and in line with your shoulder. There's a huge learning curve with mobility aids that I never expected. I watched a bunch of tutorials and did some reading when I started using my cane. I never came across anything about the handle direction, so I'm curious to try that out. Similarly, a lot of people use walkers wrong. They push them out in front of themselves, then walk themselves back up to it. This causes them to always be off balance, leaning forward, and puts a lot of their body weight on their arms. You are supposed to stay mostly in the middle of the walker, so you remain upright with your arms primarily straight down. This keeps you balanced upright and allows the walker to act as a safety cage around you to keep you upright should you lose your balance. A lot of people forget that most of our smartphones have compasses built in them. When smartphones first became popular, some of the earliest apps had really clever uses of devices in the phone to do things that weren't intended. For example, the compass in your smartphone can be used as a metal detector. Yep, someone made an app for that. Also, the gyroscopes in the phone make a pretty decent level if you're trying to level a picture or similar. I miss the Wild West days when we all had silly single-purpose apps on our phones to impress our friends. Zippo Lighter app, Champagne Cork Pop app, Magic 8 Ball app, Lava Lamp app, apps just for the sake of having apps. Man, I miss 2009. I remember there was one app that was called I Am Very Rich or something like that, and it was just a glowing red jewel in the middle of the screen, and that was it. It was $999.99. Honda CRVs from the early 2000s have a secret picnic table under the floor in the back. Lol, what the fuck? I never knew this, and I've had my 06 CRV for a few years now. Proud owner of a new picnic table, thank you. Most smartphones have a lockout sequence of button presses that disables your biometrics in the phone. This forces the user to type in the password to unlock it. Handy tip of you are ever pulled over or arrested, as the courts have ruled that it takes a warrant to force you to unlock your phone via biometrics, and they can't force you to provide your passcode. For iPhone, press and hold power and either volume button on the screen that pops up with power off, SOS, etc. Press the cancel button at the bottom. Your phone is now locked and requires the passcode to open it versus face ID, touch ID. Average people sometimes overestimate how hard it is to diagnose a lot of check engine lights in anything with OBD2. Modern cars, onboard diagnostic 2. Your car literally has an OBD2 port in a relatively convenient location. You plug in an OBD2 reader, pull the code, Google code plus car, name plus year, then you can check out the rough cost to repair it. Some places like AutoZone will use their reader and print out the above info for you for free. A lot of people don't understand the broil function of an oven. The reason the door can be left propped open several inches is for use with the broiler. It's the flame or heating element coming from the top. The door props open because the heat should spill out as you are cooking with radiant heat rather than convection like with baking, roasting, and can be used for all sorts of things. As a simple example, you can seriously impress your friends with a killer plate of nachos when they come over to watch the game, and they are easy as hell to make. Edit, this can be different for some ovens, as there can be a broiling drawer under the oven so that the oven only needs one burner for the oven when it's built, or it can have a vent that exhausts the heat out of the oven, leaving the radiant heat as the mode of cooking.